Potential pitfall when estimating models using time series datasets is that data may have temporary or permanent changes to its levels, either single time period outliers or fundamental structural shifts. One way to detect changes would be to conclude indicative variables for potential observations where the change occurs in a regression, then decide whether that included indicator is valid. But unless you know the specific dates where change occurs, you can have more variables than observations. Recent advancements allow us to perform variable selection on models with many more variables than observations, so we can saturate regressions with complex combinations of indicator variables and let the variable selection techniques choose which are the most appropriate indicators to use. The new eViews 12 allows automatic inclusion of indicators in regression models through the use of the AutoGets variable selection method. To demonstrate this feature, we will estimate a simple personal consumption equation using log difference of personal consumption as the dependent variable against a constant and log difference disposable income. Both data series were downloaded directly from the Federal Reserve St. Louis database. Fred and the contained monthly observations between 2002 and April 2020. We begin by estimating the simple equation without any indicators. We click on Quick Estimate Equation to bring up the equation estimation dialog, then enter our dependent variable followed by a constant and our regressor. Clicking OK produces the results. Note that the coefficient on log difference income is negative and statistically significant. Also note that we have an R squared of 35%. If we click the Resids button, we can view a graph of the equation residuals. A quick eyeball suggests that something happened towards the end of 2004, again in the middle of 2008, and then in 2013. And obviously, there was a huge shift at the start of the COVID-19 crisis in March and April of 2020. We'll name this equation to add it to our work file. Next, we'll estimate a new equation by again clicking on Quick Estimate Equation. We enter the same dependent variable and regressor as before, but now use the Options tab to turn on Indicator Auto Detection. The Options button brings up options for the auto detection routine, including which types of indicator to detect. We'll also loosen the overall p value, which could lead to the inclusion of more indicators than otherwise. Clicking OK twice will estimate the equation. You can see that five indicators have been added to the equation, with three single observation indicators and two level shift indicators. The impact of these variables on the log difference income coefficient is dramatic, as is resulting R squared. Viewing the residual graph shows that the large outliers have been removed, and the location of detected indicators, as shown by the vertical lines, corresponds to the outliers we eyeballed in the original equation. This concludes our demonstration of the AutoGets variable selection method. For a complete list of our online tutorials, visit eviews.com.